Hi, this is Maginoni, and I thought what we'll do is get rid of the AVX books uh, since I took a break from Diablo. Now, um, we have Avengers 26, the Versus 2, and AVX 4. Now, overall, I mean, I think there's some interesting concepts that they're going to be putting in here, and I think uh, there's, um, there's a lot of excess, I guess you can say, uh, redundant storytelling which is kind of driving me insane. Like, uh, for an example, not, I mean, I understand that a person can't be expected to buy every single book uh, in, in this, this big crossover, but I think in some of these cases we don't need multiple pages go rehashing. Like, for an example, with this one here, this is pretty much all rehash, all of these pages of what happened in Secret Avengers. Now granted we get a couple extra pages of um, Marvel Boy with um, or the Protector, whatever his name is, with his girlfriend which I thought that part, okay, that part was good. And But then like I said, everything else is the same as what I read already. Now also the thing that's kind of confusing me now too is the way uh, Secret Avengers ended with the Captain Marvel appearing in front of Miss Marvel and um, Marvel Boy and that seems to have been forgotten by Miss Marvel by the end of this this issue and it's little things like that that just completely throw me off you know I, I can't say that I would think this is a strong issue but um, see I don't want to ruin too much but what I can say is based on how this ended this doesn't make sense either because this here, it basically has them wounding, I guess you can say, or clipping the wing of the phoenix. And this issue here, you have Thor getting his butt kicked by the phoenix. So obviously there's another issue somewhere in between here, and it, it, this is basically a jumbled mess. Now, if you just read this, you're fine. But it's because you're reading everything else, it gets confusing. Now, another complaint that I have is this, these Versus books. These Versus books, while it's witty at times because they go, you know, they give these fun facts, these fights are completely, they're stupid. I mean, I'm just going to ca call it like it is. They're, they're not even fun. Um, this one here, you've got, I mean, some interesting things happen where you get Gambit charging the shield and charging Captain America's suit. But Captain America just gets up like nothing happened. I understand he's Captain America, but still, come on. It's like, you don't think that that kind of charge would have at least knocked him unconscious? Well, I guess maybe Gambit decided to power himself down and just just only damage the costume. Now, the other problem that we have is apparently uh, the people who worked on this book didn't read this book. Because... Here you see Cap's shield, I mean, his costume completely ripped to shreds, and in this one here, uh, his costume is just fine, absolutely no problems uh, whatsoever. And, you know, it it's this kind of attention to detail that really gets me. And, like, when I look at the uh, Night of the Owls, that... that crossover works so well and I look at this and it's basically night and day and I'm like this this deserves better and we're not getting better even the fight now the fight between Colossus and Spider-Man it was pretty entertaining but it, this is the type of fight that we've seen a thousand and five times with Spider-Man and Juggernaut nothing new was brought to the table you know and and in this case Colossus only wins because Spider-Man leaves because hope isn't there so I'm like really is this, this is the best that you you could come up with and I'm just really disappointed but um here I'll give you guys the code for this one Okay. Now, 
with this story here, basically, the apparently the only person Hope can go to is Wolverine for help. And I'm like thinking, maybe do you think you should have gone to Cyclops first? Just a thought. But no, she goes to Wolverine, and she convinces Wolverine to help her. And then this is basically setting the stage for. Uh, another battle between the Avengers and then the X-Men. And, you know, when I'm looking at the two sides of the battle, even, you got the heavy hitters for the Avengers. You know, you got Cap, I got, let me see here. We have Cap, we have um, Red Hulk, you know, we have the Thing, Iron Man, and the other side, it's people who've already been beaten before. So, I'm like, I'm looking at this going, this is, you know, I, I need more. I need more than this. And this issue here pretty much basically tells you what happened in Uncanny X-Men here. Um, this is probably something that we haven't seen yet in another issue somewhere. Um, same with this here. I mean, is this even a good fight here? The Magneto versus Doctor Strange? I don't think so. Come on. And and this is a person versus. And um, I'm just like really disappointed with it. I think. Well, I think there's pieces that are really starting to fit. I think they get a little sidetracked, sidetracked a little bit. And this is where it's not living up to the hype. And even when you look at some of these issues here, while I appreciate the fact that they're doing the space here and not really in here, because this I think the space story part would bog this part down. Or when you have the Imperial uh, Death Squad coming in against the X-Men, you know that would all bog this stuff down. But I, it needs it needs. The, the foundation, I think, of the story is what's weak. And I think no matter how good some of this extra stuff is that they're introducing, if they can't repair the quality of fighting that happens here, then I think the whole thing is just, it's pointless. Because, like, you know, I'm sure you all you have all heard that, you know, the Avengers are going to win up to a point, and then the X-Men are going to start winning. But again, is that really a fun fight now? You know, it's like you have half the issues, the Avengers winning nonstop, and then suddenly the tide turns and it's that. No, I mean, I want to see decisive battles. I want to see a battle where, you know, somewhere out of these six issues where it's not the first three Avengers, the next three X-Men, I want to see Avengers and X-Men fighting that and have battles that mean something. Because so far, these battles mean absolutely nothing. Zero. Zero impact to what's going on in this. And that's the problem I have. There's no consequence. There's no uh, there, there's no reason to even fight. Other than there's just let's we'll just throw a fight together. Because that's what you guys want. You guys just want to see heroes fighting. With because you couldn't you didn't get enough of it from Civil War. And I think that's where the problem is. They're focused on this and they're not doing a good job here. Anyways, if you have any comments or questions, let me know. Rate the video up or down. Let me know what you think. Um, I'll try to read some more stuff for tomorrow. And um, until next time.